Tables ensure that information is saved and retrieved successfully. In some cases, we also store raw facts that we can then work on and process to produce relevant information later. In Access, your table design will determine the runtime complexity as well as the space complexity for running complex macros and functions. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you the tables that I have designed specifically for Maringo Sports Club system and hopefully give you an idea to develop interesting tables for yourself. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, welcome aboard by smashing the subscribe button below and join the class. In my channel, I post at least twice a week and explain facts step by step to develop a system for your, of your choice from scratch to give you interesting ideas to try out in your own systems. Make sure you also leave a like to help the channel out. I will appreciate your support so much. Now, the first table is going to contain information of all the members of the club, and I will call it members. This table will store the club members, including their full names, their gender, the date of birth, and their contact details, and much more. In this table, I'm going to assign a unique ID and give it a primary key. Remember, the primary key is going to be assigned to the ID field to ensure that no two people have the same ID. Later, you're going to learn that not all IDs, I mean member ID, actually require a primary key. It is actually, it depends on the type of data that you're going to store or you're going to save on a particular table. Moving on, the table number two is going to be the membership fee table. This table is going to store information about the membership fee paid by individual members or by the groups, the member ID and then the fee amount are some of the examples that are of the records that I'm going to store in this field. One thing that you can keep in mind is that some of these tables can actually be combined to just a single table. Here, for example, all the information that I'm putting in the membership fee table, I can combine it and make it in the members table so that I have just a single table. In this video, I've broken down for you so that I can explain clearly all the tables that you can require for this specific project. From here, you're going to mold all this information so that you develop your own unique database for your examination. The table number three is the sports table. This table will hold information about the sports which are offered by the club. The records might include their names, their description, or any specific rules and regulations. For this specific project, what we might need are the sports ID to be able to uniquely identify the sport, the sport name, and you can also add as many as possible so that you meet your project's requirement or needs. You can also keep in mind that what you are looking for in this particular project is an airplane for your computer paper. So you don't actually need to pay so much attention to details which are never going to earn you any mark. A good student will pay attention to the key areas where the marks are located and try to perfect in those areas. The other important table that I'm going to share with you is the sporting items table. This table will store information about the sporting items which are available for purchase at the club store. In the table, you'll include fields like their name and the prices that you buy the product at. 
the next uh, the next table which will go hand in hand with the sporting the sporting items table is the stock table this table will also have information about the sporting item in the store including the item name the current the current level stock level for that item and the maximum stock level later we will see how we can actually implement the dropping of the stock up to 20 percent of the maximum stock level and how we subtract the amount that has been bought from the maximum stock level equity Purchases table. This table will store information about the purchases which have been made by the club members. It will include their member ID, the item which have, has been purchased, and the purchase date, and also not forgetting the amount which has been paid for that particular product. Another important table is the facilitation fee table. It is going to contain information about the facilitation fee paid by members of the team playing against an external team. You can underline the word external team because as you might have read from the, the question paper. Facilitation fee is paid only when they are playing against an external team. They can play against an internal team, but we don't have the facilitation fee there. But when they're playing against an external team, facilitation fee is going to be the surcharges table is another important table. The table is a, will store information about the surcharges which are imposed on members for the lost or damaged equipment. Fields in this surcharges table might include the member's ID, the item name, and the surcharge amount, and maybe the payment date, which I've just included here for just in case. But in my case, I don't really think I can develop a system in the payment date. Just uh, doesn't make sense to me. Now remember the surcharge amount was it ten percent or five percent of the market price? I think around ten percent of the of the market price. Now you might be wondering why I'm not adding any primary key to the members ID field. It actually turns out that one of the key properties of a primary key is that they do not allow duplicates. In our case, if we have a bad guy who is always damaging items in the field of play, that guy is never going to appear twice in the list or even several times. Suppose he has damaged several equipment. Suppose in this table we add a primary key to the ID field. That means this guy is going to appear only once and the system is going to deny any other time. As you can see, from this, you can relate to other tables and figure out where you might actually require the primary key and where you might not.